Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Link. To join the adventure, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Yes, my people, yes, my people, you don't know the thing set. Yeah, man, we're back at it again, you know. We're on an spear fishing adventure this morning. Yeah, man, four of us this morning, me, Karandi, Kenado, and Balti this morning, you know. Yeah, man, and I'm um, come back to one of my favorite locations again. Yeah, and um, I like the weather passed a few days ago. It was very rough, a lot of area get flood in Jamaica. Yeah man, and um, this morning the sea come back down a little flat but not that flat, it's early now. So it's a little flat but we know up in the day it's going to come up back. So with the year and we I go see what we can catch this morning. Hopefully we find something because of Sunday morning. So we definitely looking forward to catch Sunday dinner this morning. So, pray for me. Yeah, man. So, people, we'll get ready you now and see where we can enter from and see. The last time I came here, I catch a boat. And um, this time, one going out now, but I'm not sure if we can go catch if we go out to at the location. But if not, we swim. Yeah, man. So, go and watch how we are doing, no people. We jump into the water and we swam to where we were planning to spearfish from. So Kenado made the first job. He took a shot after a mackerel but he didn't get it. The water visibility we could see a little bit but it was very sandy. So that's Balti. So this is the first dive I made. This one was random. I saw nothing on the bottom. Although the sea was a little rough and the water was dirty, we were seeing quite a few fish. So I made this drop on a yellow tail snapper. It started to swim away from me, so I took the long shot and I got it. That was a real long shot. Wait, have you touched that subscription button yet? Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. This snapper was a good starter. It built my confidence throughout the rest of the dive. It's 
a nice one. So I string that one up, reset my spear gun and head off to find the next fish. So this is our next random dive. Most of the area was very murky so we could hardly see the bottom. So we have to make some half red dive in order to see. Those were two jacks. random dive can see the place full of life a lot of small fish right here I saw a few grunt so I made a job when I got down there were deer still I could have taken that shot but the spear gun will definitely get stuck So right here I saw a few more jack I made a jump on them They were moving really fast I lined up one, took the shot But I only grazed it Right here I saw a lionfish. I was showing it to Balti, but he didn't see it, so I made the jump so he could follow. My spear gun was too big to spear it. His one is ideal. When I got down, I didn't see where it went. I looked around and I saw that Balti finally found it. And he lined it up and took the shot. So a few minutes later I made a dive and I saw a permit jack running from Canada. It was moving real fast. So I took a long shot and I hit it. It 
swam and swam until it slip off the spear I lose it I thought my flopper was gone at the time so when I dive to retrieve the spear I realized that the flopper is still there Yes, the flopper close and the fish slip off. That's what happened. Now it's way loose than it was before. This spear is a real giant spear, so I don't think that size permit jack could swim away with it. That one could weigh about eight to nine pound. So I brush that one off. I head back on the hunt. So right here, I hardly see bad fish and half size jack. This time around, Kenado also made a chop as well. None of us saw anything, the spot was empty. Move on from this spot and Kenada made a job right here and at the same time I saw a lovely chigga fish so I made the job on the chigga fish. I lined it up, took the shot and I got it. See Kenado just coming from his dive. My spear got stuck down there in the rock, so I head back and retrieve the spear and the fish. into the rock so I pulled it out with ease It was a nice chigar fish, good size one. We have to be real careful with this fish because they love to bite. I know a lot of fishermen that have been bitten by them before. So Kenado finish it off. Although it seemed like it was dead, we still cut the mouth out.
So that's my cat so far. At this time, Ken had only catch one fish, so he was still on the hunt. He made his job and I decided to follow him. This is back to the era where the Haasai Jacks and the Portuguese, we always see them here. Also Chubs, the Chubs were there though, but we never interested in any. So we surface and move on, heading up back the sea. So here I saw two snapper, made the jump and start to follow them just to see if I could get a shot. And one didn't. But across the trench, I saw a next snapper. I lined it up and took the long shot. I couldn't believe that I hit it, but it ripped off though, I didn't get it. This spear gun is really good. So here, I saw a few yellow tail snapper, so I made a job on them. When I got down, the snapper head off to the deep, but I realized that there were a lot of guns here, so I surfaced. Warm myself up and made an next job. When I got down, I saw quite a few of them, so I took one of the big ones. This grunt was nice as well, good size one. At this time, I thought the rest of the guys head back to land already. So I decided that I'm going to head in. So on my way in, I catch a squid. can see it's giving off a lot of defensive ink. I like to use them for bait. When I reached the land, I realized that the rest of the guys were still in the water. I could see them in the inside between land and the reef coming in. Yes, my people, so I come out of the water, you know. Yeah, man, I come in before them boy do. Them day in the inside, yeah, in the harbor, take time as we come in, but you know. Come in and the water is a little, you know, water murky, as we said before, and um, the visibility murky water, poor visibility. Yeah, man, but you know, I find two fish same way, the dive was okay, not lying. Yeah, man, and um, the permit jack there, sorry, I never get a permit jack there, but that's where you go, him and a tear off, the flapper clothes and it, you know, him slide off back off of the spear. I saw go. Yeah, man. So, me come drop off my gears, them and thing, because we have a little step for come up and it kind of hard with everything. So, 
come and drop off the gears them so I head back down on the seaside now and show you guys the, the catch alright see my catcher yeah man we have a lovely grunt right here a trigger fish and a nice yellow tail snapper yeah man these 10 catcher this yellow tail I look like him have about two to two and a half pound and me have about a uh, about a three pound trigger fish and on a one and a half pound grunt here so nice size same you know mm -hmm. Them boys are almost reaching. Three of them. What do you have here, short Balti? Yes, my people, so see Ken out there, you say, you know. Yeah, man, four lovely grunt tests on a little barrel, you know. Yeah, man, a decent catch, this, you know, decent. Although the sea is so rough still, because it's rough. Yeah, man, decent catch. Mm -hmm. This is a ball I say, you have a little artist. Pinky, I want a lionfish and a little jack, you know. Karan did this. Yeah man, nice to go dinner this week Sunday, you know. Mm -hmm. so you see really look there, you know. See you know, look good at all. But nevertheless, you find fish in it. Yes, my people, so we are going to clean them up, you know. Yeah man, we we'll clean up where we have. Well clean up right here. Yeah man and you know, you know tomorrow I'm gonna do some steam chigga fish that one here. Hopefully we can do it tomorrow with some okra and thing you know some noogle Yeah man so I'm gonna make a little video for that in a most long but I'm gonna make a little video when I do it see me yeah man but this definitely after the Sunday dinner today you know a yellow tail snapper here. Yeah. This is the Sunday dinner, you know? Yeah, man. So we are almost finished. You know, though. I clean up the rest of him fish. Him. Yeah, man. Balti, do him off to do already. Mm -hmm. Over here, so. Carandi over here, so I clean up in dinner the same way. Yeah, man. So you don't know, we are going to end up with the Ilya now, any time for now, you know. Well, my people, yeah, so some weather is supposed to come in back yeah, next week. Yeah, man, so, you don't know if we can go back and see one or two more times before it comes. I'm going to try again, you know? Yeah, man, but you see, you know, not come down right down, you know? You know, come right back. Dirt is still, but it can die. Yes, so we're heading home now. Yeah, man, see, these ten catcher. My Sunday dinner, this so, you know? As I say, I do them. No, no, outdoor cooking today. It's a Sunday. I have to do some special cooking today. So I head home in the kitchen to do you know, some rice and peas and yellow tail snapper. Yeah man, so the people not going nowhere at all. Stay tuned, we're heading home. Do a cook up, alright?
Yes, my paper, so I'm home now. And Daddy. here we have the tree fish. Yeah, man. And the snapper right here, and the grunt, and the chigger fish. So, we are going to take place here you now. We are going to prepare the snapper and the grunt. I'm going to steam them with some rice and peas. Yeah, man. It's a as me did I say a two pound size snapper and a pound and a half to a pound snapper yeah man and a nice size sugar fish as well but as I said before I'm gonna do a little steaming further on in the future with this fish yeah man so subscribe if you haven't already if you wanna see that as well alright and then today these two is going to get prepared today they are already clean as you guys see and yeah and that's how we clean fish most of the time in Jamaica Jamaican style of scale and gut we hardly do fillet only certain places mainly do fillet yeah man but yeah man so we're gonna get them ready for the pot and I get a seasoning on and you know the stuff together and then we add them to the pot alright this is about the biggest um what would I call a pot? A frying pot or a hard here. So, I'm going to try and make them fit. I mean, if I want to cut them, I don't want them to spoil the look, you know. So, you know, trim up the tail and the fins and put some slice in them. And then, yeah, we're going to season them up, you know. some of that stuff on them as well this is it yeah man so this is going on the stove right away yeah man you know so some of the time you're going to do some hot dough on the beach some of them style of fish yeah. and you need some steam and fry and some escovish on the beach I just the time sometime you know yeah man so some butter right here now Time to put this on the fire right now. Yeah, man, so you don't know. Let this go on deal with what you have to deal with. Mm -hmm. The rice, or the peas, that you know, the rice in there, you know, just season up. Eat this first look you know, you know? Mm -hmm. well, Looking down nice man The rice coming on too as well you know mm. Yes my people so the fish look like yeah yeah man ready 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 you know looking real good man the rice are going to steam you know because you don't know the thing set well here it is now my people yeah man i have a piece of this snapper right here and this is my dinner for the for today yeah man so you know a little tired now so I get this right down my belly and you know yeah man so guys remember you know subscribe if you haven't already yeah man and share up with your families and friends alright and, and and I will link the previous video when we go diving so you guys can always watch that one after this alright so NASA links I say I do catch you in the next video